Welcome to the year 3307. Homo sapiens have long since stepped out into the galaxy. But what's that? You wish to visit the place where it all started? Come then to the Sol system, the cradle of humanity. Eight planets, five dwarf planets, over 200 moons, and over a million known asteroids and comets, all orbiting an otherwise unremarkable main sequence yellow star. Our journey out from the sun begins at Mercury, named for the messenger of the Roman gods, the smallest planet in the solar system and the fastest. Mercury makes a complete orbit of the sun in only 88 Earth days and sits at an average of only 36 million miles from the star. There's barely an atmosphere here, no moons, only a hot baked ball of rock, pockmarked with craters. The second planet out from the sun is Venus, named for the goddess of love. In size, it's almost Earth's twin, some 7,500 miles across. But that's where the comparison ends. The thick atmosphere of 96% carbon dioxide is opaque from orbit. Beneath it lies a world less like love, more like hell itself. On the surface, the temperature average is almost 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter even than Mercury. The earliest space probes to land here melted within minutes. Venus is a harsh reminder to the people of Earth of what a runaway greenhouse effect really looks like. Our home, Earth, Terra, a shining jewel in the dark and the birthplace of humanity. 70% of the Earth's surface is water. Strictly speaking, it's a water world. The nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere has allowed life, as we know it, to flourish. Earth lies in the Goldilocks zone of the solar system. Not too close to the sun, yet not too far away. At 93 million miles out, it's just right for life. Out to the last of the rocky inner worlds of the solar system, to Mars, named for the Roman god of war. Back in the 21st century they called it the Red Planet for its dusty, cold, desert colour. Now, in the 34th century, humanity has terraformed this world, making it green, habitable and comfortable for our kind. Long before humans evolved on Earth, Mars was thought to be a lush world under a hotter, kinder sun. Now humans have tamed it once more. Mars is still home to some of the most majestic sites in the solar system. Its volcanoes are clearly visible from orbit. Mightiest among them, Olympus Mons, towering 70,000 feet above the Martian plains well over twice as tall as Mount Everest. Past Mars lies a vast gulf, home to the asteroid belt. Millions of rocks orbiting the sun and a rich mining resource for the people of the 3300s. Beyond the asteroid belt, the planets change dramatically. At 780 million miles out from the Sun, our next world is three times as far out as Mars. Welcome to Jupiter, first and largest of the outer planets, the gas giants. 
Its four largest moons, first glimpsed by Galileo, glisten as our spacecraft approaches. Named for the king of the Roman gods, mighty Jupiter is as majestic as its name suggests. Nearly 90,000 miles in diameter and more than twice as massive as all the other planets in the solar system combined. The thick hydrogen helium Jovian atmosphere produces beautiful bands around the planet. Among them lies the Great Red Spot, a millennium old maelstrom, a swirling storm three times the size of the Earth itself. Jupiter has a thin, wispy ring system and the most powerful magnetosphere in the solar system. It's a good job we're safe in our spacecraft. The radiation here is almost as much of a hazard as the vacuum. Onward then to Saturn. Nearly 900 million miles from the sun sits perhaps the most beautiful site in the solar system. Saturn, the ringed gas giant. Orbited by over 80 moons and counting, the most in the solar system. The clouds here may not be as defined as its neighbor Jupiter, but then there's less heat out this far. Saturn's complex and beautiful ring system is unique in our solar system. The other gas giants have rings, but none anywhere near as spectacular as those of Saturn. The rings themselves are chunks of rock and ice. The remnants of a moon that never formed, or maybe one that broke apart. Now they're a valuable mining resource for the people of the 34th century. Beyond Saturn, the distances between planets increases. Uranus, the first of the two ice giants, is twice the distance from the Sun as Saturn, nearly 1.7 billion miles out into the void. This curious gas giant is tilted on its side at almost right angles to the rest of the planets. A result, it's thought, of some ancient impact during the formation of the solar system itself. At almost 32,000 miles across, Uranus is less than half the diameter of Saturn, but it still dwarfs our Earth. Uranus' delicate ring system was the second to be discovered after Saturn's, and they too have an ethereal beauty. Out here, the sun is but a brilliant star in the distance. But even then, it can still produce beautiful effects as it plays on the pale blue hydrogen, helium, methane atmosphere.
Far out in the distant depths of the outer solar system, 2.7 billion miles from the far distant sun, lies the last known planet, Neptune. Named for the Roman god of the sea, Neptune takes 164 years to orbit the sun. Its deep blue atmosphere receives barely any solar energy this far out, but it generates more heat from its core than its neighbour Uranus. The contrasting white clouds that scud across the high reaches of the atmosphere herald some of the fastest winds in the solar system, powered by Neptune's internal heat. Like the other gas giants, Neptune has a ring system, though in this case the delicate strips of rock and ice are more arcs than full circles. Is that the end of the solar system? Oh no. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, home to lonely asteroids and dwarf planets such as Pluto, itself once classified as a regular planet, but that's a story for another time. And beyond that, the Oort Cloud is home to chunks of ice that, when perturbed, can start the long journey in towards the Sun where their gas and vapour is boiled off as beautiful comets. Then, only then, do we approach interstellar space. And though we have travelled far, we are still only a tiny fraction of the distance to the next star.